Was this your the first outreach that you've ever been on in Africa? Yes, and it was the most wonderful thing I have ever done in my life. <laughs> it was Why do you wonderful. say that? Because it opened my eyes to a, a need of of people for for medical aid, but also for the light of the gospel. <laughs> Trying to find glasses for people. <laughs> we now have a lady, our strongest glasses are not good for her. So we're hoping to find one. dark area. Those people were so neglected. They had such medical needs and there was talk of witch doctors and I thought how dark these people. They have no help and they, they don't know the Lord and unless we introduce them to the Lord they will not know him. It costs a lot for us to come here. I had to come from America to Africa. They were thin. The people were so thin and so poor, and their clothes were so ragged. And they came to us in uh, like a taxi that was oxen dragging a sledge and they were sitting on the sledge and you could see sometimes when they came that they had slept along the way and some of them mentioned that they had walked three days or four days just to get to see a doctor and I thought what a need that you would walk three days and sleep on the ground and they slept on the ground waiting for the doctor. If the end of the day had come, they would just sleep right there. Um, I've never seen people so poor. I've never seen people so neglected. And I've never seen such a need for the gospel. people 
it's been just awesome. I just didn't imagine that God could work so much here. And the, the people that came to the Lord at their wet movie, uh, it just filled my heart. It was wonderful. And they, they, you showed uh, the passion of the Christ, and 20 people came, and the next day, first three, and then more, and then more, and then more. Um, and it just, it, it just filled my heart with joy. And uh, we don't just help their bodies, we help their souls. I think, I think we could come here um, 10, 12 times a year and, 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 and we would just touch the edge of their physical needs and, and their spiritual needs because they're still going to the witch doctor. They're still, they still are living in darkness, spiritual darkness, and there's a real need here. We could do so much more if we could just come more. And in the end, when, when he could see, he danced. And, um, and this was the first that I had seen in these people any sign of joy. They, they are, they're a very sad people. They didn't have a lot of joy. And, um, and I also noticed uh, the darkness of the mention sometimes of going to the witch doctor. And, um, but I noticed that when we showed the films, they would watch and they would sit and they were just thrilled with the films. But the response to the films was more exciting because they wanted to hear more about the Lord. They wanted to know about Jesus. And the next day they came to ask more questions. So I know it wasn't just that the film was good. It, we reached their hearts. in my life. Um, I'm 75, by the way. Um, I'm not a little, I'm not a young person. And most of my life, I have fought abortion. I have been pro-life. I was pro-life professor. That's, that's amazing to be in a, in a big university, State University of New York. Very, very liberal, very... The first time I got arrested for uh, doing something at a, at a clinic. Um, one of my students fingerprinted me and he says, the prof is going to jail, the prof <laughs> is going to jail. And I, I, I've endured a lot of things, but I have been blessed to serve giants. <coughs> you know, it is a blessing to serve.